Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Ingus and I'm from IGS Electronics. Today we're going to be checking out the Mitsubishi slash Beige E1000 uh, series HMIs. They're very old HMIs and yet they're very still, uh, have well, a lot of machines still have these. I'm going to be showing you today what software to use, what cables to use and how to upload download the program from these uh, panels. It's the old panel starts from E. Uh, 50 all the way to E910 and then afterwards it goes to 1000 and onwards uh, a bit later 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 models there's two types of software it's going to be using which is uh, the e-designer uh, 7.52 and uh, e-designer a uh, 6.13 uh, one is for the older version of the firmware and one is for the uh, yeah, youngish uh, version of the firmware we're going to be checking out how to install the software on the Windows 10 uh, Windows 10 uh, windows as well so i can show you how that's done and how to make that work so any related manuals any videos anything else i could think of that would benefit you in any possible way uh, i will leave them in the description below so without further ado let's get started <music> Here we are. So the first thing what we need to do before we get started is identify what cable we're going to be using. And that cable's name is Cub5- uh, Inverse. It's just a Mitsubishi Cub5 cable. I, it's not actually Mitsubishi, it's a Beige or whatever the company you call. And it looks at uh, two female uh, cables, uh, are equipped female ends with RS-232 ports. And that will go in at the back of here, which is RS-232 in here. And that one down here is for PLC communications, more or less. Yes. So, and uh, the, the, well, the one more thing we're going to need is, as you can see, I don't need, you can use a, still can use a nice uh, USB converter. That all works, and I will leave in description below the manual where you can create this cable yourself for any cable you wish for this type of family yourself. So let's power up, and the one thing we're going to need to know is, is we need to know the version. And we need to know the way, what what uh, protocol is being used to so make sure that you, you are uh, downloading whatever we try to download. Okay, so it says com error. Here we go. So basically, in the very beginning, it's showing you a uh, and that's the program in there. It's showing you what uh, uh, firmware you're using and what uh, protocol, which basically the controller. So those are the two things you need to know. Then we'll plug the RS-222 in the back. And what we're going to do, let's jump on the computer and let's see how the upload and download works. Here we are. So now that we are in front of the computer, this is my, my fault. If you are, if you have your uh, old the designer still on your CD, then uh, do it this in CD. And I got mine in a folder. So uh, once you open the folder, as you can see in here, setup in here, click uh, right click on it and go to the properties and go to compatibility. Windows is very very good of being compatible pretty much with any uh, previous Windows. So you can see in here the whole list of Windows is are here all the way to Windows 95 if you wish. I know that my one's been on a Vista so the Vista is selected and once I did that so now it's going to be compatible and let you run the software and that will, that will be for your a uh, 7.12 no no 7.52 and for a uh, older version, as you can see, eDesigner version 6.313, that comes as standard when you purchase the eDesigner. By the way, you can still get eDesigner if you are after one. Do contact the Beige or whatever. I'll leave the link in the description below the company you need to contact. And they will put you in contact with somebody who is still able to sell that for you. And in here, as you can see, this one already has been converted to compatibility automatically and if you go in here you can see it's been already logged in for Windows XP Service Pack 2. So once you install both of your softwares too, there's a difference between eDesigner 7.52 and 6.13. Mainly for the older versions you can be using 6.13. For the newer versions because everything above 6 or and things like that, you uh, 6.2 and things like that, you will need a uh, uh, E Designer 7. So E. So if you go in the E Designer 7, quickly let's have a look at them. So uh, it says Mitsubishi Electric. Nope. So uh, when you go into a, a setup in here, as you can see, uh, if you go in the change in here, let's let's go for a 200. As you can see there's only two versions there, six 
or a 6.2. 6.2 will not be in, in, the, in the, this is the later version of it. Same is same is for the 300 and blah blah blah. As you can see, the I got 700 down there, and my one says a version of uh, uh, V4, and as you see, it's not on the Windows. If it's not here, then you know that you need to go to eDesigner. Uh, six so which is a uh, this guy in here and by the way guys if you are using uh, again I would uh, note that that if you are using a converter to find out which converter you are using go to manager go to device manager and have a look at the ports which port you say because my one is a tender USB to serial bridge which is com 8 so make sure you do remember that because you're gonna need it for a setting you can't download anything unless you are knowing uh, set up the set up where you uh, the, the, the HMI. So we're going to open a new project, and in here, as you can see, I need to, to select what HMI I'm going to be using. As you can see down there, I have Ian. This is you can see all the older versions of it. So all the way to 6.1, as you see, you know, 7.52. You didn't had uh, you had 6.2 on it. As you can see, this one doesn't. So uh, yeah, so we are we are going to be that one down there is a uh, 6.0 something. So that'll do. And it uses the FX, uh, what protocol we will use, FX2 and a CPU protocol. So let's do remember, uh, make sure to set this one up as well. Once you've done that, you pretty much, you will open this window. And from that window, go to transfer, projects, and you can see in here, receive. Click receive, it will tell you in the terminal a version right in the bottom. If you have selected wrongly, it will point out it's a wrong version. It says you pretty much go and correct it. So let him do his business because it takes a little bit of time. So we'll come back straight after that. Here we go. So we are back. Uh, it actually didn't take that long. It took only about 19 seconds. Exit that. And this is where you're pretty much your a uh, uh, program is. So let's have a look at this ending in there, as you can see. All it's being set up in there, so pretty much you have downloaded the program. And I think now, if, uh, if you want to back it up, just save it and whatever you there's all the demo versions and things like that, save it or whatever name you want, and you can keep that for later. And but if you finish where with your project and you want to transfer it, and this is what you do project again, and pretty straightforward, just send it and it will go back into your a uh, oop, my camera as you can see down here. It is showing on the screen. That is what is happening down there. So in your pretty much transferring project from one to another. Be aware, ladies and gentlemen, that the E50 is the only one you cannot take the program out. As far as I know, and uh, you cannot get out everything else, uh, you should be having a no problem. So key thing in all of this is to remember that uh, if your version, if you're using the 7.52 and your version is not on there, then uh, go back to 6.13 so uh and if it is later versions then pretty much oh hopefully you are getting a gist so pretty much that ladies and gentlemen how you download upload the program from uh, e uh, uh, 1000 terminals i know it's the old version but i know still a lot of you out there are using it so I thought it would be a good idea and good way to show you how it's uh, done. So both programs can still be used on uh, Windows 10. And if you need a cable, there's a lot of people who are making that cable for you. But there will be a link in the description below how you can solder that cable yourself. So uh, uh, other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this will be it when it comes down to this video. I was going to sh show you the E8, E700 and E200 as well, but they're actually both the same. Just showed you how to read the version, how to read the uh, POC controller, the controllers or protocol they call in there, and that's all we need to know. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video, and uh, uh, it's giving you good insight and giving you understanding what you need to do to get program out of your E1000 series P uh, HMIs and transfer them to your uh, replacement screen. Because I know a lot of you again are still using these and are still repairing them so on that ladies and gentlemen thank you for watching and i will see you in the next video